Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. If you've been keeping up with the crypto news, then you've probably heard about Ethereum switching from its proof of work consensus model to proof of stake. And this has started a lot of debate within the crypto space about which one might be better. So in today's video, we're gonna look at both of these consensus models in a head-to-head -head battle. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel. Also, you can let us know by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. So how do they work? In proof of work, to validate a transaction, a group of miners compete to solve a complex mathematical problem by guessing a random number. The miner who manages to guess it right gets rewarded in the network's native coin. So for example, BTC and Bitcoin network. The rest of the miners must also validate that their work was correct before the transaction is added to the blockchain. On the other hand, proof of stake works in a similar but slightly different way. Instead of having a group of miners competing, only one miner is selected at random. Then they have to attempt to solve the puzzle while the rest of the miners get to validate their work. In proof of stake, all miners have to block some of their coins on the network as collateral. And if a miner gets the solution wrong, part of their coins are taken away as punishment. But if they get it right, then they're rewarded. Now let's take a deeper look at proof of work. Now in theory, anyone can participate. But now companies have produced specialized mining computers called ASIC and they can cost a jaw-dropping $10,000 and even higher for just one go. Also, when a new model of ASIC is released, then it renders the previous one useless and it ends up in a landfill. And this isn't seen as very sustainable for the environment. The process requires a lot of energy and most of it currently comes from non-renewable sources. The process is also relatively slow because most of the energy goes to solving the puzzles instead of processing transactions. So in contrast to proof of stake, blocks in proof of work are smaller and can store full transaction histories. Now let's have a closer look at proof of stake. Some things to note about proof of stake is first of all, anyone can connect their computer and participate in it. But it does have a high threshold for the minimum coins that you can stake. It also requires minimal hardware and energy to be able to participate in it. It's faster than proof of work. It also applies a more centralized model which makes governance easier but this can also be used as a point of an attack. It also suffers from higher inflation. And it doesn't rely on computer storage, but rather on the cloud. And this makes it quite vulnerable if there ever is an issue. So there we have it. To sum it up, neither is perfect. As much as proof of stake was brought in to solve the inefficiencies of proof of work, it still suffers from its own flaws. So it all boils down to deciding which one is the lesser of the evil that will show more resilience in the future. As always, if you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.